Pilates we do a standing kind of mobilization get the body ready to work and then we move down to the floor make sure that you've got something to lay on if you're on concrete or um, tiles or wooden floor anything like that make sure you've got something soft to lay on bare feet or socks entirely up to you if you've got knee problems, back problems, I am going to give alternatives, okay? So work where you feel comfortable, listen to your body, rest whenever you need to, okay? So, stand nice and upright, toes and knees point forwards, just get my watch ready, shoulders are down and relaxed, I want you to make sure that you are balanced and central, so you're just going to gently rock from side to side, forwards and backwards, Finding that position where you've got that even distribution of body weight across both of your feet. You don't feel lopsided, you don't feel like you're leaning. I then want you to find your neutral spine. So you're just tilting your pelvis forwards and backwards. And finding the position where your back feels the most comfortable. That straightish line coming from your head down to the heels. Give or take a bump or two. <laughs> so got a nice lengthened posture, shoulders down and relaxed, neutral spine in place, which you're going to maintain from this point on. Your core muscles. So thinking firstly about your pelvic floor muscle. Now that's the one you would use to stop mid-flow, okay? So I want you to imagine that that muscle from within is attached to a lift and there are 10 floors to the lift. So I want you to draw it all the way up to floor number 10 quite uncomfortable, you wouldn't be able to maintain it for long, so we're going to take it down to floor 5, and then down to floor 3, where you're going to leave it, so you've gone from level 10, 100% engagement, to level 5, 50% engagement, to level 3, where it stays, around about 30% engagement, so you feel like you're drawing up slightly. Imagine your belt around your middle, 10 notches on the belt, Pull that belt in, notch number 10, so it goes as tight as possible. Comes out to notch 5, out to notch 3, and that's where you leave it. So again, you've got that tightened feeling around your middle. Hold it through the core and the neutral spine. Excuse me. You're going to breathe from your rib cage. Hands on the ribs, fingertips touch. You're going to take a deep breath in. Fingertips apart and release. Deep breath in. Good. Relax those arms down and just gradually begin to pedal through your feet, one side to the other. So that's your lateral thoracic breather, breathing from the rib cage. Gently allow your shoulders to rotate one way and the other. I will constantly remind you about engaging the core, neutralizing the spine and your breathing. Gently place the feet down, lift all the way up onto the toes and release. Lift up onto the toes, lengthen and release. One more time. Lift and lengthen and release. So step those legs out and just ease across from one side to the other. Reaching over each time. Reach across. Good. And in front. Push it through the leg. One leg lengthens. One leg bends. Reach up and over. And then we're holding it in the middle. Walk those feet in, hips distance apart. Arms up, breathe in. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. As you rotate, try and keep those hips in place. So the movement, the mobility is through your spine, not with your hips. One more to each side. And then gently release the arms down. With your foot, tap forward and backwards. Foot comes from the floor and you're sweeping your leg forwards and backwards. Knee comes up, take the leg back. Knee comes up, Take the leg back. Good. So you're going to hold the knee up this time. And then you're going to push that leg back. 
easing as far forward as comfortable for you. Lift the knee up and balance. Now if you need to take your foot down in between that, it's absolutely fine. Sweep it back, reach forwards. And also, if you need to keep your toe down there, that is absolutely fine. Lift the knee up, balance here. Ankle one way and the other and place the foot down. Other foot, tap forwards and backwards. Hips face forward, body is lengthened. Sweep the leg forwards and backwards. Lift the knee up, take the leg back. Lift the knee up, take the leg back. Good. So you're gonna lift and hold the knee and then sweep and reach. Lift the knee up, balance. Take it back and reach. Only as far as comfortable for you. Good, release. Bring the knee up, balance. Ankle one way. Sorry, I'm balancing on my bad ankle. And the other way. And place the foot down. Stand towards the back of your mat. Breathe in, tuck the chin to the chest. Breathe out and slowly begin to roll down through your back. Soften your knees. Allow your arms to hang and relax like wet spaghetti. Then when you're ready, you're going to gently roll up through the back. Rebuild your spine vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way to the top, relax the shoulders, head, neck, raises last. Breathe in, chin to the chest. Breathe out, begin to roll down. Soften the knees, allow the arms to hang and relax. And then when you're ready, carefully rebuilding, rolling up, all the way through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, like you're building a, a tower of building blocks. So we're going to roll down this time and make our way to the floor. So we tuck our chin in, we gently roll down, and at your lowest point, you're going to carefully walk your hands forward and lower your knees down. So you're into a box position. Knees should be hips distance apart, wrist, elbow, shoulder, all in line. Don't have them too close because your back is going to arch. Have them too far away, your back will dip. So breathe in, as you breathe out, push one leg back along the floor, breathe in and draw it back in. Alternate the leg, push it away, bring it back in. So as you change legs from one side to the other, you've got to keep your body weight central, don't lean to one side. Level two, fully extend and then raise. Gently touch the toe down at the furthest point before you bring it back in. So you've got to push away, lift no higher than the body, touch down and pull it back in. If you want to go further, you can slide the opposite hand out along the floor, bringing it back in at the same time as your leg. Final option here, fully extend the arm and leg, they both raise, they touch down and draw back under. Opposite arm to leg, remember, core muscles zipped up, back nice and flat, nice and still. Strengthening through the core and the lumbar spine. And just complete one more with each side. And once you've completed those two, you're going to gently allow those elbows to come down and you're coming into a level one leg pull. So you're going to look down between the wrists, you're going to draw up your pelvis and hold. So your belly button is drawn up towards the ceiling. Now you can stay here or breathe in, breathe out, lift, breathe in, bend, 
breathe out, lengthen, breathe into lower. So this is your one leg kick. The leg doesn't need to lift up high. If you try and lift too high, your posture is going to go. You're going to end up lifting up the pelvis too high, arching the back. Breathe in, bend, out lengthen, in lower. So as you change from one leg to the other, everything stays in place. Core muscles zipped up, or just hold. One leg kick, strength for the core, lumbar spine, but you've also got your hamstring and your glutes working there as well. So you're gonna do one more with each leg. And then, gently lower all the way down. Now I'd like you to fully extend your arms and your legs. You're gonna use just the one side until I tell you to change. So you're gonna breathe in, your head will be down. As you breathe out, lift one leg and the opposite arm. Breathe in, breathe out, they pull away from the body. Breathe in, they come back in. Breathe out, they pull out. Breathe in, they come in. So your belly button is drawn up. Now, as they move away from the body, it is a controlled movement. Whole breath out to take it out. Whole breath in to bring it in. Belly button drawn up. One more with this side then you can gently lower. Breathe in as you breathe out, other leg comes up, other arm. Breathe in, breathe out, open, breathe in, return. Breathe out, open, breathe in, return. So your belly button is drawn up, Elbow. 
the elbow and the shoulder are in line with each other, okay? And your chest is open, legs are bent, soles of the feet in line with the bottom. Base position, okay? If you manage nothing else, just draw out the ribs and hold. You've got a nice space under the body. Bring the other hand to the temple, and all we're going to do is breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to rotate forwards and down, and then breathe in to come back up. Breathe out to rotate forwards and down. Breathe in to come back up. You could lift your hip from the floor. Movement comes through the waist and your spine. Breathe out to rotate forward and down. Breathe in to open. If you want to go further, you can straighten out your legs. Good. Or you're just holding this position. I'm going to ask you please, in your side bend rotation, for one more breath. Once you've completed that, gently release the arm. You can carefully lower all the way down onto your side. And I like to lengthen out in a straight line. Now my arm isn't quite in line with my body, but that's because I've run out of space, okay? But try and make sure you've got a straight line from the fingers to the toes. And this supporting arm, that is there for your balance, okay? Breathe in. As you breathe out, raise those legs without rolling forwards or backwards. They've stayed in line with your body. Point the toes, point the fingers. All you're going to do is breathe in and lower them an inch from the floor. And then breathe out and raise them up. Breathe in, lower it an inch from the floor. Breathe out and raise them up. So you're controlling the movement, lifting through the obliques, through your waist. Hand is there for balance or not. Breathe out as you lift, in as you lower. Core muscles zipped up, neutral spine in place, side raise. I'm gonna ask you please, for two more, Once you've completed those two, you can allow those legs to lower, give the hip a rub if you need to, and then push yourself to sit. Sitting nice and upright, legs bent, feet down, shoulders down and relaxed. I like to breathe in and tilt the pelvis under. So you've created a C-shaped spine, okay? Lift one foot from the floor, that leg is bent, right angle in the knee. You're gonna breathe in lower. As you breathe out, lift the other leg. Breathe in to lower, breathe out to lift the leg. Breathe in to lower, breathe out to lift. Now if you're worried about your lower back, you can always have your hands down for support. If you wanna go further, those legs cross over midair. Breathe out to lower, breathe in to lower. So you've got your seated scissor. Keeping those legs bent, allowing that foot to touch the floor. You could always try and take the arms out to the side. I don't want you going too fast. Use your breathing, okay? Breathe out, breathe in. Full deep breaths from the rib cage. And in your seated scissor, at the level you've chosen, please complete two more breaths. Then allow those feet to lower and carefully bring yourself to sit. Good. From here, lengthen your legs out. Shoulders down and relaxed. Breathe in, tilt. Breathe out, lift one leg. Now, not too high. All you're doing is pointing the toe away and holding it here. Hands could be there for a little bit of support. If you want to go further, both legs raised. 
core muscles in, don't let them dome out. If you want to go further, breathe in, as you breathe out, lift and circle, breathe into complete. Goes one way round, and then the other way back. If you've only got one leg lifted, keep them still, okay? Do one more breath, and then swap legs. So you've got one leg slightly raised, the other leg is not along the floor. If you've got both legs raised, carry on holding. There's probably a film in there somewhere. And then if you're adding that movement, what I don't want to see is your bottom coming up off the floor and your body rocking, okay? Where you're comfortable, please complete. Two more breaths. Then you can allow the legs to lower one at a time and bring yourself back up. Good. So bending those legs, making your way down onto your back. Just need you to find neutral spine, so comfortable back, yes? Core muscles in place. If I was to place a spirit level, cross your hips, bubble of air would be central and still. So from here, breathe in. As you breathe out, raise the leg into a right angle, one leg. That leg is raised, held and still. Core muscles are in place. Deep, full breathing. If you want to go further, lengthen the leg to 45 degrees, hold and breathe. You want to go further, breathe in, breathe out, bring up the upper body. Don't pull it into the body, chin is off the chest, neck is still in line with the spine, okay? Breathe in, breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. You could keep your leg bent for this, or out straight, with or without the upper body pulsing. And if you want to go a step further, you're bringing the other leg up into right angle. Deep, full breaths, core muscles in place. So I'm going to ask you please, for three more breaths at your level. If you've got both legs raised, your bent leg, the second leg you lifted comes down. Upper body comes down. Bring the leg to bend and stay there. Knee above the hip, ankle in line with the knee. Good. So from here, I want to breathe in. As you breathe out, lengthen. Breathe in to return. So it's the same leg. Breathe out to lengthen. Breathe in to return. If you want to go further, the other leg could be raised but please keep it still. Breathe out to lengthen, breathe in to return. If you want to go a step further, bring up those shoulders, breathe out to lengthen, breathe in to return. Like someone's got hold of your toes and they're pulling the leg away from you. You've either got one leg or both legs up, but only that one leg moving. I'm going to ask you for two more breaths, please. Then you can allow that leg to carefully come all the way down. Once that leg is down and you're ready, breathe in, breathe out, lift the other leg. So we start in that base 100, the 100, yeah? Right angle in the knee, shoulders down and relax. Neutral spine, we're touching those fingers together under the small of the back and the core muscles are in place. Stay here, absolutely fine, or breathe in. As you breathe out, you can lengthen and hold it still. 45 degrees with that leg, holding it still and in place. Wanna go further, bring up the upper body, palms face down, chin is off the chest, breathe in. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Going all the way, bring that other leg back up, but keep it bent and keep them still. Breathe deep, full breaths. Strengthen through the core and the lumbar spine. Good. 
So remember, we start from here. You can have the pulse with or without that leg raised, okay? Work where you feel comfortable. And I'm gonna ask you at your level for three more breaths, please. Once you've done your three, the bent leg, foot comes down, upper body comes down, and that leg comes back to bent. Knee above the hip, start and finish position, okay? Breathe in, as you breathe out, like I've got your toes, pull the leg away, breathe in to return. Breathe out, pull the leg away, Breathe in to return. Always coming back to where it started. And if you're looking to go further, the other leg can come up, but keep it still. Going further, bring up the upper body. Breathe out, one leg stretch. Breathe in to return. And I'm gonna ask you please, in your one leg stretch, at your level, for three more breaths please. Once you've completed your three, one foot at a time, if you've got them both lifting goes down, upper body lowers down, good. And then if you want to, you can give yourself a long body stretch from here. And then in your own time, when you're ready, you're going to turn onto your other side. Elbow, shoulder. Rib cage raised. Okay? Got that space under the body. My legs are bent, the feet are together, and I'm bringing that hand to the temple. Breathe in. Breathe out to rotate forwards and down. Breathe in to return. My back just cracked. Ouch. It needed to crack, don't worry. Breathe out, rotate forwards and down. Breathe in, come back up. Open the chest. You want to go further, raise the hip. Remember the movement comes through your waist, so we're not allowing the lower part of our body to rotate. It's just through the waist and the spine. You want to go further, Legs are out. Breathe out, rotate forwards. Breathe in to return. Or just stay here. Rib cage drawn up, core muscles are in place, your obliques are working, shoulder strength. Two more breaths for me, please. Once you've completed those two, you're gonna gently allow yourself to lower and lengthen all the way out. Nice straight line, point the fingers, point the toes. This time I can have my arm in line with my head, but you can't see it anyway. Good. Breathe in, hand is there for balance. Breathe out to raise the legs. They have stayed in line with your body. It's almost as if you're laying in between two panes of glass. So you can't roll forward, you can't roll backwards. You have to stay central. Breathe in, lower the legs an inch from the floor, and then breathe out to lift them back up. Breathe in as they lower, breathe out to lift them back up. Your hand is there for your balance. If you don't need it, take it away. Perhaps you even want to bring it all the way over. Breathe out as you raise, and in as you release. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in place. Side raise. And I'm going to ask you please, for three more breaths. After those three, you can allow those legs to lower. Give that hip a rub if it needs it. Well done. And then from here, I'd like you to bring yourself round into a box position. Back nice and flat. Good. 
We're going to round the spine into a cat stretch. My dog's having a little loony in the kitchen. Breathe in to release. It's because my son's cooking, making toast, and the dog's like, what's going on? Round that spine, breathe in. Breathe out to release. Sit back on your heels, stretch those arms out into child's pose. Lovely. Bring the hands towards the knees. You're going to push yourself back into a crouched position. We are going to make our way to stand, so if you need to hold on to anything, move towards it, okay? I'm just going to come forward, otherwise I'm going to catch my radiator. Tuck the chin in, place the feet flat, breathe in. As you breathe out, begin carefully rolling up through your back, rebuilding your spine vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way to the top. Once you're up, relax those shoulders down. You still need to be balanced and central, so even distribution of weight across your feet. Make sure neutral spine, core muscles stay in place for as much of the day as you can. So every now and then, just sort of say to yourself, "Are my core muscles engaged?" and just draw them in. Okay? Lift up onto your toes and balance and release. Lift up onto your toes and balance and release. One more time, lift up onto the toes, balance, close your eyes if you can. Are you balanced? And release. Well done. So that's your Pilates for today. Remember we have got two classes at um, Witten tonight. You have got your aerobics at quarter past six, and you have got your legs, bumps, and tums, which I believe, let me just quickly grab my timetable. Should be about half past seven, I think. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, 7.30, so aerobics at quarter past six. The routine is four, four blocks, and we break it down block by block, step by step, so it's easier to follow. And then you've got your legs, bumps, and tums, where you're working in your own space, doing exactly what it says on the tin, working your legs, your bumps and your tummies. So tomorrow morning, I will be back here with you at 10 o'clock for your aerobics, okay? And that is that. So if I don't see you tonight at Witten, I will see you hopefully tomorrow on here for aerobics. Uh, tomorrow at Witten, you've got Pilates. So if you've been doing Pilates at home, and you want to come to the class and give it a go, it's, it's, it's a little bit better because I can see what you're doing. So if you need to be corrected, then I can help you with that, okay? So 6.50 a session, all right? Or pay, that's your page go, or your monthly classes only I card, which is your 20 pounds. We offer one, two, three Pilates classes a week at Witten at, at the moment, okay? You've only got to do four classes in one month to make that eye card work for you. So anyway, that's that. I'm not on commission, by the way. I just like to see lots of people. I like to see happy faces. So I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Well done for this morning. Have a lovely day.